trading indices relative to trading individual stocks can bring a number of advantages, including diversification and access to 24-hour trading. People use indices in order to track the average performance of a group of assets. So for example, equity indices will track a group of stocks. Sector indices track the performance of an industry group, say mining or semiconductors. There's also commodity indices such as the CRB index which cover a group of commodities and there are also currency indices such as the US dollar index which track the weighted performance of the greenback. For the purposes of this video, we're going to look primarily at equity indices. One of the reasons that some traders gravitate towards trading indices rather than trading individual stocks is the benefits of diversification. When looking at the performance of a stock, some of the factors that affect it are related to the overall market, some related to the industry sector, and some related to the underlying company. By focusing on indices, the individual company becomes a smaller part of the overall portfolio. You capture the average movement of the index as a whole. You diversify away some of the risks associated with the individual company. Your upside may not be as high trading in index, but your downside might not be as low trading in index relative to an individual stock. There are a number of major factors that drive the performance of indices. First of all is the standard supply and demand or fear and greed that also drives returns in the underlying basket of stocks. On top of this, economic news tends to have a significant impact on broader markets. Also inflation and interest rates which provide liquidity to markets also play a major role. Finally, the earnings expectations and dividends of underlying companies are also important. Another powerful aspect of trading indices relative to trading individual stocks is that individual stocks are usually available for trading only during exchange hours or during the business hours where you live. Indices, however, are available for trading on a 24-hour basis. With equity markets scattered across the globe, Having access to 24-hour markets means that you're able to take advantage of opportunities as they present themselves at any time of the day or night. It also means that markets are available for you to trade when it's convenient for you. Market moving news can come out at any time of the day or night. Generally speaking, for each of the major regions, economic news tends to come out first thing in the morning, with the exception of interest rate decisions which tend to come out around midday or early in the afternoon. Corporate earnings tend to come out either in the morning or in the evening, depending on where you live. Another advantage of trading in 24-hour markets is that they help to reduce overnight gapping risk. When you're trading in a stock, you run a risk that between when stock markets close in the afternoon and they reopen in the morning, something bad might happen and you may open significantly lower. So suppose, for example, you were trading an ETF that closed on a Monday afternoon valued at $100 per barrel and you had a stop loss order in place at $97.50. Then suppose overnight something happened and the price of crude oil drops $5 per barrel between Monday night and Tuesday morning. If you're holding an ETF in a traditional market, your stop order loss order would get filled the following morning where the market opens at $95 per barrel. However, if you're trading crude oil contracts in a 24-hour market, you would be filled overnight at or around $97.50. As we've seen, there are a world of opportunities made available through trading indices and accessing 24-hour markets. In other videos in this series, we'll look at some of the other asset classes that you can trade, including commodities and foreign exchange.